Hello, I'm Brian Haig with the Iowa State Bar Association here today to talk about exciting changes to Iowa Docs. Iowa Docs 2.0 will have its first major overhaul in 20 years, as well as a change in service providers. As of January 1st, 2021, Iowa Docs will no longer be powered by Hot Docs, but rather by Express Docs. This change comes about due to concerns with the direction of Hot Docs and the expiration of our long-term contract with Hot Docs. Hot Docs has new ownership who plans to dis discontinue the desktop version of our software and require all access to IODocs to be web-based via Hot Docs Market. Our experience over the past six years with Hot Docs Market has not been received well, so the ISBA decided to explore our options before proceeding down this avenue. During the exploration phase, we became aware of Express Docs and the power of their web-based document automation service. Our committee was extremely impressed with Express Docs functionality and its online interface. Ultimately, after 14 months of study, it was decided the services of Express Docs would better suit our members' needs as well as provide a better product management of Iowa Docs. We believe once familiarized with the new service, users will find Iowa Docs 2.0 to be much more robust and a user-friendly program. With that, I would like to show you what Iowa Docs 2.0 powered by Express Docs Will look like. At the login screen, which is iowadocs.expressdocs.com, log in with your email and password for your Express Docs account. Once logged in, you'll see the Iowa Docs library with the categories just like you did before. I'm going to go ahead and click in civil litigation. Here you can find all the forms in civil litigation. You can filter them by using the filter box here. If I want to do attorney fee contract, I can just type in fee and it will go through the list and find that form. Go ahead and click on the form to open the interview. Once the interview comes up, it'll tell you that you're at the attorney fee contract and you simply go through and answer the questions just like you would in Hot Docs. If you get a date, you can click here. You can either type in the date or use the little date widget here to find your date. To get to the next category, you can either click on the category or you can click on next. I can add a prepare. If you have a prepare already uh, set for your system, you can click here on the drop down and pick that, that prepare, or you can always hit add new prepare to add a prepare. Click on confirm. To confirm that preparer, you can now see the preparer is listed here in the party information. Next is the client. I click on client, add client. I'm going to add an individual and go ahead and start typing in that information. Go ahead and click confirm. My client now is added. I can click on add attorney. Again, just like preparer, I already have a list of my attorneys in the firm information. So I'll go and pick my attorney, or you can always add an attorney. Click on confirm, and you can see all my party information is now filled out. I can continue on by clicking next or click on the next category. I'll pick hourly, click next, continue on filling out information, click next. Once you get to the document file format, uh, before you Decide if you need a PDF for the word processing document and what file name you want the data set to be. You can simply click on preview. That will preview the document and you can look at it real quickly to make sure that everything is filled out the way you need it to be. As you can see, the red text is the answers that you provided for that form. If you see a mistake in there or something that you didn't answer right, you can simply go back and, and find that information and make the change. But if you're ready here, you can decide if you want a PDF and a word processing document or a docx file, PDF only, or just only the docx. I'm going to go ahead and pick PDF and docx so I can show you both of those. And then down here, you can insert the file name for the data set. The data set is the same as in Hot Docs, the answer file. So you definitely want to save this information. So here as client Steve Norby and the date, if that's fine, you can hit assemble um, or you can change it. I'm gonna go ahead and just do last name first and then first name and then hit assemble. At the download 
screen, you have the option of uh, download all, which would put it in a zip file that you can download all at once, and it would provide all three of these documents. You can click on each document if you would like to download individually. Depending on your browser, it might download automatically or it might ask you. My browser is set to ask me what to do with files that I download. Uh, so my data uh, file, which again is your answer file for that client, if you click on that, it's either going to download to your default download folder or it might ask you like it does here for me. It says, what do you want to do with it? I want to hit save as. I can then navigate out to my client folder and save it there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. I'm going to go to my PDF and open that up. And again, my browser is asking me what I want to do with the file. Yours might just simply download. I'm going to open mine. And here's my PDF file. As you can see, the red text is gone. I can then save, print, or send this to my client. Attorney fee contract for the Word version. Again, it's going to ask if I want to open or save. I'm going to go ahead and open. And it opens as, again, as you see, the red text is gone, but I can enable editing and I can make changes or add things or whatever. At this point, I can save, print. I'm going to go ahead and close that. If I need to do a new form, I can do return to folder. And that's going to return me to the civil litigation folder. If I need to return to a different category within IODocs, I click on IODocs up here. And then I'm back to my library for IODocs. That's a quick overview of what IODocs 2.0 will look like with ExpressDocs. Thank you for your time. And if you'd like to know more, please email us at support at iodocs.net.